Yo, Ross McKinley is steadily trained. Thank you for downloading my guide to arms. First thing you gotta do if you wanna get bigger arms is make sure that you use this guide. Now, me and Connor have just done an absolutely sick workout, but before you watch that, before you watch all the other videos and you read the guide, I want you to talk you through some of the key terms that we use when we're coaching, some of the key coaching cues that I use, and when they are and aren't applicable. The first thing is, in terms of your arms, the often forgotten area, forearms. This guide covers that as well. But with biceps, triceps, forearms, we need to do all of them. What I'm gonna show you with Connor is, when we're training and I talk about keeping your upper arm strict, I mean keep your shoulder blades retracted and I want your upper arm here, so that's from your elbow to your shoulder, your humerus, this bone here, needs to stay strict and needs to stay in line. A lot of lads, especially Connor with his bigger shoulders, and you might do this at home, you might do it in the gym, when you're curling, if your shoulder drifts forward as you're curling, you're losing scapular retraction, you're putting a lot of tension on your anterior delt, this is how lads end up with massive shoulders in a pulled forward posture. We need to make sure that the shoulder blades stay retracted, this stays straight throughout, we'll have a straight line from the shoulder to his elbow. When I refer to him keeping it strict, to him keeping his upper arms straight and keeping it as tight as possible and as strict as possible, that's what I'm talking about. The next thing is, when it comes to biceps and triceps, I'm sure you've heard the coaching cue of squeezing your triceps on the bottom of the movement. Connor's got some good big triceps here, squeeze it for his son. Now the reason that we do this, again, going back to your anatomy, when you flex your tricep, you get in the bicep to fully lengthen. That's a great coaching cue. It makes sure that you're going through a full range of motion, but it isn't always applicable. So some of the exercises like preacher curls, we don't want to do that then because we roll forward. My point is, coaching cues are great, but things that I say, I'm sure I want you to apply them throughout. But think about the exercise that you're doing and the goal of that exercise. When we go through the workout, when you look through the guide, there's different focuses in each set of exercises, if you like. We've got exercises that are focused on getting the muscle fully shortened or fully contracted. That's something where you get the muscle as tight as you can and flex it as hard as you can. Well, we've got exercises that are mid-range, which tends to be where you're strongest. For arms, that tends to be things like your EZ curls or even dips, where the muscle's ne never fully shortened, never fully contracted. And also, the last area, we've got where the muscle's fully stretched. So when we come to the overhead tricep extension, that's a great example for your tricep how to fully stretch that. Each exercise, when you read the guide, will have a where you should and shouldn't put it. Not all exercises are created equal. This isn't a definite order to put them in. What I want you to do is just think about where this should go in your session and how you can best apply this advice. If you're not sure about what to do, I've put an actual example workout at the back about how you put all this together. Most important thing, frequency for arms. It's all right downloading the guide. You need to take the information that me and Connor have given you, look at how he performs exercises, look at the information that we've used, the coaching cues, and apply it to your own training consistently, and then you'll see mint results. Working set for Connor, 15 kilo dumbbells. See if you can beat that at home. Make sure that you keep the coaching cues that I've used and the technique exactly the same as what Connor's gonna do here. There you go. So shoulder blades are nipped back throw. He's not going too high at the top. Squeeze control down, squeeze these tries in the bottom, full range every time, no half reps, make sure you do it properly. Black breath. He's pushing himself back into the bench, he's not letting his hips slide forward. Over the next one, shoulder base in the back, squeeze these tense abs. Good, keep your elbows to your side. Good. Nice and powerful on the hammer curl, you should be stronger here, remember it's a mechanical drop set, that should be your hardest, a little bit easier. Cheat curls at the end to finish them off. Good lad, squeeze. Four second descender on the cheek curls. One, two, three, four. Little pause, get them set again, flip them up. One, two, three, four. Good. Keep that chest forward, shoulders in the back. You need to keep your shoulder blades in the back, use these up the back to keep them nice and tight. Keep the elbows up the side, get the tension down the way down. Good. Again, up. Craft. This is what you'll get at the end. That's a cheek curl, don't worry about it. You're going to get a couple of reps like that. That means you're using a good way. Go over the swing. Good, right, drop them there. Working set for Connor. Six reps of each exercise, start on with the skull crusher, into the roll and tricep extension, and then finish with a neutral grip press. 15 kilo dumbbells, away we go. Nice and strict on the first one, mate, control it down. Nice, good. Keep your elbows nice and straight, good. So we're looking for minimal movement from his upper arm here on the first one. Good, nice. What we don't want is lots of backwards and forward, trying to keep this nice and strict because on the second exercise, the rolling, you can get that flick forward. Take a little breather, and then flip. Nice, good. See the difference as he goes in the second one, he can kick them forward now. He's getting a little bit more fatigued, but he's got the advantage of the different exercise, which is a little bit easier. Go like, come on, grab the workout. Push, all on your tries, all on your tries. Keep your elbows tucked, don't let them drift out. 
You'll notice on this one as he gets tired, his elbows will want to drift. If you notice that at home, try and keep them tucked in. Cue again to nip back and stay tight. Last one, you will get presses, squeeze. Perfect for life, Brian. Squeeze on the top. You really try to lock on the top as soon as you try to as tight as you can. Good. So went through the setup, Connor's ready to go. The difference in the intensity method that we're going to use on this, I'm going to add resistance on the way down. So on the eccentric phase, when he's lowering the weight, I'm going to push down here on the bar, give him more tension on the way down, load that eccentric tension. If you're on your own, if you haven't got a training partner, what I want you to do is really extend that lowering phase over six seconds and pause for two seconds in the bottom. So we'll show you a proper working set here, I mean, Connor, so lift up me. He's fighting all the way down, ready? Four, three, Two, one, fight it more, up. We're gonna do eight, four, more, three, two, one, up. Fight it more, four, more, four, three, good, two, one, up, good, four, three, two, one, up, good, one, four, three, two, one, up, good. Let them push up, four, three, two, one, up, good, four, three, two, one, more, up, 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 up. Good, keep shoulders in back, tighten up, strict, elbows in the pad, perfect, snuggle position, two, one, stop there. Working set, so Connor's gonna do 15 to 20 reps on press ups. Remember, close grip press ups, all on your triceps, a little bit of a faster tempo. Away you go. Yep. So with this one, he's trying to get a pump, he's trying to rep it out. 15 to 20, if you can get 20, keep going to 20. If you fail 15, that's cool, but you're repping it out at a good pace, perfect mate. Trying to stay in a straight line, once perfect form, hips shoulders and his knees in a straight line. Put that jump up. Perfect. Right and then from there he's going into overhead extension. He's going to grip it. I like this at knee height. He's getting in front of remember elbows are tucked. He's getting the stretch in the bottom in a two second pause then driving it up and pulling apart at the top. Keeping them apart. That's important. Keeping them apart. Nice. Two. One, two. Drive. Three. Good. Should feel a massive stretch in the bottom. Muscles should be pumped already. Big stretch in the bottom, stretching out, and then going again. Pump and stretch. Go. Right, see now he's at the point where he's struggling. This is good to fully. When you start struggling on these exercises with ropes, when you struggle, start crushing them together. So instead of pulling them apart now, he's going to keep them together. This is going to help him get a couple more reps. Let's go. Again, come together, keep them together. One more, one more. Up. Good, then get that stretch in the bottom. Stretch, and down. Good. Connor's going to take you through it. It's 15 reps of each exercise. We'll start with a reverse curl using an Olympic barbell. Elbows tucked to the side. Really concentrating on it here. You could use a fixed bar for this in the gym. You could use an EZ bar. Use it for like the advantage of using an Olympic bar. Yes, it's heavier, but it will roll with your hands a little bit more. Makes it a little bit easier on your wrists. I like it. 15, there you go to me. If you've got a training partner, you're going to want them to take the bar off you on 15 reps and hand it back to you. So he's going to go onto a bench, you need a bench set up like this. Drop down, move back. His elbows and wrists are flat on the bench. He's going to let it roll down into his fingers. And then, oh, keep your elbows flat on the pad, mate. And he's going to aim for 15 reps again. There's a lot of tension through here. You can see his biceps, his forearms, keep them flat, 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 flat. If, you've got, if you're working with a partner, you see them leaning forward, you see their elbows lifting up, you want to keep them back, keep all the tension on here throughout. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going, a few more, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. Go, go line in the game, go. This will feel absolutely disgusting. Go. And again, and again, and again, and again. Good. That's one, good. Right, you're going to take the bar off, he's going to flip round. These ones are even harder. You might not get 15 reps on here, so have someone there. If not, if you're on your own, don't be scared of dropping the bar. Right, let's go. Yeah. Down and up. So now the other way, look at this, sick pump in here. It's what you want, up and back, up and back, up and back. You can give him a little hand if you've got a training partner, make sure he's getting all the way up, all the way down. Squeeze the bar, thanks guys. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, up, 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 up. Good, stop there, good lad, good. That's the first three exercises. Last part, hold, isometric hold with dumbbells. I'm gonna pick him up, something that's heavy for him. It's 30 kilos, not too heavy enough he can pick up. Gonna absolutely kill his grip. Set his back, shoulder blades lift back, get them off his side, out the side. Three, two, one, go. Now he's squeezing as tight as he can. Straight away you can see him shaking. He's wrapping his thumb around the dumbbell, squeezing it as tight as he can. Hold, 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 hold. He's holding it for as long as he can until he literally cannot hold on the dumbbells anymore. Then he's going down safely. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Tight, 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 tight. Good, good, good. Good lad. Make sure that he's keeping them off the side. He's not letting them drift in. The dumbbells are staying out the whole time. You'll get your traps and your shoulders in a little bit as well. Keeping his core tight, squeezing his glutes so he's not arching. Perfect, drop him down. Down nice and safe again, a flat back. Boom. 